decided to jump up in a redneck tonight. Um, I haven't hunted out a redneck in a few weeks. Uh, but uh, tonight's kind of the perfect night to do so. So we're overlooking our main, our main uh, food source on the farm. Biggest field we have for the most part. Um, cut corn. We've got about a quarter acre still standing here in front of me. Um, in the redneck blind where we're, we're sitting about 15, 20 yards off that cut corn and standing corn and then there's a clover plot behind me um, where uh, we've planted some apple trees, we call that the orchard. Um, in a few years hopefully that has some nice uh, fruitful trees. Um, and then there's CRP surrounding everything so um, kind of on top of the ridge here the field is and all the bedding areas are down below uh, off of uh, a lot of these major egg fields so this is the field we've seen a lot of movement on had a lot of photos some of our bigger bucks two weeks back I was hunting on a, out of a tree just behind me here and, and we had Palmer show up out into this uh, the cut corn and standing corn right in the, the, the edge of it so um, you know, he's not a shooter this year, but probably one of our best seed bucks for next year. Um, oh, there's a deer that's just walking on the field now, about 500 yards to me to the right. <clears throat> this, this is an observation stand out of anything you can see forever. That looks like a doe. Yeah. I mean, that's forever away from me, but... Uh, the plan here is to just see deer step onto the field tonight. Still don't have a shooter buck, uh, a mature shooter buck on, on um, the trail cameras or being seen yet. So until we do, just gotta, you know, see as much area as possible. Wait for an intruder and uh, hopefully capitalize there. It's been a bit of a lull here the last couple of days, but hopeful we're this, in the start of something special. So. We'll check back later, but uh, got about three hours here and we'll see what happens.
All right, well, it's uh, 5.15. We have basically no shooting light left, very little camera light. You can still see silhouette of, I don't know, probably four or five deer out on the cornfield, way off to the end. Coincidentally, right where I gotta work, walk out, so I'm gonna do the interview quick now. Probably end up sitting here for another 20 minutes or so. Try to let the field clear. But uh, it's, uh, it was a good night. Um, eventful night. Uh, it's raining right now, but it doesn't seem to bother the deer. So we, uh, we had a good night, like I said. Um, saw a bunch of deer. Late though, you know, last hour before dark for the most part. But uh, we had three nice bucks, uh, different ages though. One two and a half, one three and a half, and what I think is one four and a half. Um, come and check this lone doe out here. Uh, I had a fawn with her actually, Nubby. Um, so three different bucks came and checked her out. And she wasn't obviously uh, ready yet, so. The oldest buck had no problems leaving the field right away. Um, that second buck, which I've seen way on the other end of the property, as of two weeks ago, um, Loppy. He's uh, more of a cull buck than anything, but I wasn't ready to take him out tonight without being certain um, that it was him. But he was the second one that came on the field, and he had no problems nudging off that uh, that older buck. But again, I think it's just because that older buck knew it wasn't the right time. So Loppy chased her around a little bit, um, and then he gave up and uh, left the field not too long after. And now they're still chasing out there. This young two and a half year old. Yeah, it's still him. They're still out there pushing that doe. He doesn't get it <laughs> yet. Um, but we'll let them maybe chase off the field here and uh, sneak out, depending. But yeah, like I said, uh, pretty good night. Between those three bucks. Um. A doe, a fawn, and then one other spike buck, plus three or four deer way down there. And, you know, pretty good numbers, I guess, for the night. So, can't complain. Wish every night was like this. So you get one more intruder buck that's, you know, that five-year-old that we can uh, get aggressive on. So, wrapping it up, we'll talk to you tomorrow. Hey, everybody. It is Tuesday. November 6th, about three in the afternoon. I uh, just got in the stand, Redneck One, overlooking some soybeans, standing soybeans, cut corn, as well as standing corn. Um, can see quite a ways in this stand, more of an observation sit at this point. Um, today's been a windy day, 15 to 20 mile an hour westerly winds. Temperature is a little bit warmer than what we'd like. Uh, mid 50s, gonna be dropping off later today. And a cold front will be moving in tomorrow and the rest of the week here. So it should be some pretty good hunting later on this week. But for the time being, kind of taking a low impact approach to tonight's hunt, observation sit. Don't really have a pinpointed shooter on our property yet. So uh, as a means to kind of lay off, lay off the farm a little bit, not pressure too much. Since we're gonna be hunting it quite a bit here over the next week, I uh, decided to take this sit and just see, see what I see and maybe get eyes on a shooter. So that's the plan today. I'll bring you whatever footage I can and we'll kind of go from there. But uh, stay tuned, we're right in the heart of the rut. Let's see what happens. Well, we got our first two deer of the night. Four corn, deer and a half old, and then a small fawn off to the right of the screen. It's just below the hill there. but. Let's see if anything's following them.
was two earlier today, probably about an hour ago, that four corn and fawn. Now we have a donut fawn coming out to the cut beans. It is 418, so we have about an hour left. Um, at about 345, I had one of the four-year-olds that we know of, nicknamed Gronk, kind of a funky rack. He cut through through the CRP, and I couldn't quite get the camera on him in time. But that was a good sign. Mature buck on its feet, middle of the day. So we'll see what happens later on, but uh, just wanted to show you these couple deer. time just had a doe pop out on the cut corn. Lone doe. It'll be interesting to see if it makes behind her. morning November 8th 8th of November 6 20 in the morning Thursday morning all set in a uh, brand new set here um, on the front half of the property we're down in a uh, in a bottom area between two ridges uh, natural runway uh, between two bedding areas and uh, egg on both sides of us. Um, wind this morning is uh, northeast at about four or five miles an hour, so very calm, very quiet morning. Um, temp 28 degrees, nice and chilly. Primetime rut 
should be ideal here today. Um, like I said, first time sitting in this stand, so uh, anxious to see if uh, we have a few first time experiences in here. So we'll check in later in the day. Um, going to sit as much of the morning as possible and uh, make a little noise here after daybreak and uh, see if we can't get lucky. Or do. It's been a slow couple of days. I've uh, had a tough... Uh, 6th and 7th of November so far. I haven't seen a doe in two days on stand, which is very odd. A few small bucks. Didn't see a deer last night, but I was hunting a new area too and um, trying to experiment. We don't have anything big on camera right now, um, and we haven't seen anything in the area, so, uh, you know, we're just trying to experiment with the outer edges of the property and see if there's something that's you know intruding in a little bit but you know for the most part we know what's on the center of the property and it's nothing nothing really to get crazy over so try these new sets and you know like i said get aggressive and maybe we got an intruder so that's what we're hoping for It's about 8.15. Um, had a little action early. Nice, what looked to be a, at least three and a half, most likely a four and a half year old. Came off the ridge to my right, down the hill pretty quickly after I hit some soft grunts to start the morning. He had a broken G2 on the left side. Nice deer though, outside the ears by far. Eight pointer only. Needs another ear. Um, and then we rattled in a small little little basket eight um, off the ridge to my left where our uh, soybean field is up there. Um, he came right to the base of the tree pretty much uh, and then walked off 
to my right. So. Been slow here the last couple hours. Nothing really cruising through. The wind actually switched a little bit more easterly, which is odd. Not what the forecast called for, so. I've got some work emails to get to also. It's a Thursday after all. Um, <clears throat> so I'm probably going to head down here in the next few minutes and... Uh...